Welcome back everybody. Today marks my third month on my journey to reaching Gil Cap before Dontrell. It's been a fairly chaotic month. A lot has happened in the past month both for me and the game. They've announced the release date for Dontrell, which is June 28th. We got a new live letter where they spent 90 minutes of it showing the difference between flowers and then crammed everything most people cared about in the last 30 minutes. We are also given a chance to see what our Warriors of Light will look like in Dontrell and test our PCs to make sure they can run the new updated graphical version with the benchmark. I don't know about any of you, but although my test was fine, I saw other people's bigger numbers and just made me want to update my PC. Oh well. In this video, I'm going to look back at my journey for the past month and look forward to my plans heading into Dontrell. I'll even give a few tips to begin preparing for the Dawn Trail release. Then I'll finish up with my current guild total and my best guess of where I'll be by June 28th. So I started the month with just over 100 million guild. I knew even with the best case scenario of a late summer release, I was way behind in order to reach the cap before Dawn Trail. Then when they announced June 28th, that was basically the nail in the coffin. Although I plan to continue as normal and see how close I can get before the release date, the difference is I will now be utilizing some of my time preparing for the launch. This is because a lot of billionaires in the game make most of their gill at the beginning of expansions or key patches. I plan to be one of the people that are prepared to make bank when Dawn Trail launches and show everyone how I plan to do it. My main goal, unlike videos I've watched in the past, is I want to help you be prepared to take advantage of the early gill instead of watching your video two weeks after launch where a YouTuber claims they made 100 million gill in the first week, but the market has now stabilized and the farm is virtually worthless. Although I will continue to inform everyone of farms I wasn't ready for after launch, but hopefully we'll all be as ready as we can be once Dawn Trail launches. During the month, I was able to test out all the deep dungeons to see what kind of farms they would be. Although you can make some serious skills solo or group farming, it was just too much gamba for me. And I much prefer a more stable gill farm. Yet, I know a lot of people love the engagement it offers, and as I've said before, it's best to find a farm you enjoy. So if you love deep dungeon farming, fantastic! I was also able to level my miner, and I decided to level inside the diadem for the first time on any of my characters. I've farmed there before, but I've never actually leveled. I found it much easier than running all over Eorzea and spending millions upgrading my gear every few levels. It was a nice change of pace. In the video, I slipped up and said that it's the fastest way to level. What I meant is, I found it much better than the alternatives because I could have leveled up with beginner's gear all the way to 90 if I chose, and I made a lot of gear while leveling. I even have more gear waiting for me because I have quite a few seals that I haven't spent on the mounds, minions, or emotes. I estimate I'm sitting on 2 million gil that I've just been too lazy to go over and search out the best sellers on my server. I know I could have used the materials I farmed to help level my crafters, but I'm less concerned with leveling my crafters on this character. I've just been slowly leveling them through doing the tribal beast dailies and the weekly custom deliveries. I've already maxed out my weaver and culinarian. I figure if I find a reason to quickly level a job, I'll take care of it when that time arises, but until then I'll just continue doing the dailies. I've also finished the rep for the crafting beast tribes and begun selling their special materials daily. That's the glass fiber for the Moogles, the slither sand for the Namazu, the storm sap for the dwarves, and the grip gel for the Loperets. These four items net me about 100,000 gil a day for just a few minutes of time each doing their dailies. So once I finish getting my last two crafting jobs up to 60, I'll stop doing the Moogle and begin unlocking the Elephants and then the Pixies. This way I can quickly level any fighting job. The Elephants give over 3 million experience a day and the Pixies over 1 million, allowing me to quickly level an all job outside of doing roulettes. Farming the Diadem has also given me a chance to start hoarding my elemental pieces to be ready for Dawn Trail's release. The price for these will skyrocket after the release because everyone will be leveling their crafters. I plan to have at least a couple of my retainers maxed out on the shards and crystals. It sounds like a daunting task, but I have just over two months to work at it a little bit each day. I plan to have enough to craft whatever I need at the release and possibly sell extras for your ridiculous prices. The last thing you'll want to do is have to go farm shards in order to craft the big ticket items because the shards are too expensive on the market for The more time you spend farming for elemental pieces now, the less time you lose during the peak sale time at release when everything is ridiculously overpriced. 
On a personal note, I've sadly been asked to move out by June 1st, so unfortunately a lot of my time has been spent packing and looking for a place to live. I've had to put a pause to my streaming because my gaming room is currently a mess with stacks of boxes. It's been a bit stressful and it's sadly affected my ability to release more videos in a timely manner. I'm sorry to say it's been difficult to focus on making videos. I currently have four videos waiting for me to edit and add a script, but I can't seem to focus. Though my goal is to release as many videos as I can and get back to a more consistent release schedule once once the chaos is finished. I'm also itching to get back to streaming as soon as I can. I'm really excited for Dontro and having the chance to share all the new projects that are waiting for us to discover. So even though I've had a chaotic month, I've still had a new high guild record on this character. At the time of recording this, I am now up to 172 and a half million guild. That's over 72 million guild increase for last month. This was achieved even with less time than normal that I was able to focus on the game. I hardly even used my blue mage to farm the fault. I can only imagine how much guild I would have been able to produce if I had my normal amount of time. So far, each month has been a larger increase from the previous month. It's a shame I won't be able to reach camp by the end of June. My S is reaching about 300 million by then, but I really want to see how close I can get. Fingers crossed. So, I know this video is a bit different from my normal videos, but I wanted to give a status report on what's happened recently and a hint at what the future will look like. Consider subscribing and stay tuned as I continue to make more gale farming videos and videos focusing more on preparing for Dontrail. I hope you liked the video. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.